Hello everyone. Good morning. Thank you for coming for the last day in the conference to listen to this presentation. Uh, I will try to make it interesting. I know it's a last day, three days. It's a lot to take in the Udu experience. Uh, the thing that we are trying to cover here is one of the Udu implementation and which we are very proud of uh, because we were competing with NetSuite, we were competing with Microsoft Dynamics. So one was to win against those players to make sure that the Udu can be implemented. And second was that the, how that Udu can help to scale the business to the next level. So the company is uh, into fire alarm and security. Uh, they are based out of uh, Vancouver in Canada and US and Dallas. Uh, by implementing Udu, we help them to double their ROI and triple in terms of the productivity. And that's what I will try to cover in this presentation. A uh, little bit about Brainwire, we are focusing on digital transformation. Company has been in existence for last 12 years. We grew to around 4,500 people globally between US, Canada, Middle East, and Dubai, Qatar, Kuwait, Saudi, Singapore, and India. Vertical-wise, we are into retail, healthcare, education, fintech, automobile, uh, and distribution. Uh, as a company, we are partnered with uh, Udu. Uh, we are partnered with Adobe Commerce, we are partnered with uh, Shopify, Big Commerce. On, on a cloud, we are on Azure, AWS, and GCP. So that's a company's range into it. Uh, we are typically into product development, product engineering, and digital product implementation, which can be digital commerce or the backend ERP management on that. We have been award winning. So in uh, Dallas, we comes in top 100. That's our headquarter. Deloitte, we are fastest 500. These are some of our award and accreditation. A little bit of depth about Udu, like you know, close to around uh, 300 plus people focus on Udu in Brainwire. We have close to around 200 plus, which are certified. Uh, more than 350 plus project of Udu that we implemented in last five years, become partnered with them. Uh, and we have done like, you know, 100 plus integrations uh, close to, with all different type of third parties, whether we talk about payment, whether we talk about uh, shipping, whether we talk about logistics, we talk about manufacturing integration, IoT devices, point of sale integrations, and all and above. Uh, I am the CEO and founder of company, Chintan Shah, my name is, uh, been in the IT industry for last 22, 23 years. Uh, seven years we are associated with Udu and we are proud to be associated, partner with them, and at this point of time, I can proudly say that we are one of the largest or one of the top largest partner in the worldwide from a Udu point of view. We are global, we are gold partner in US, Canada, Middle East, Southeast Asia, Singapore. A little bit about the client, uh, Radius Security is the name of the company, established in 1950, traditionally running business. They have close to around uh, 450 employees working for them. They are into fire alarm, fire safety, and monitoring services. So they do video monitoring surveillance for the commercial properties. They get into the fire alarm and fire monitoring, and they also get into security as well. So most of their revenue was subscription-based revenue, and they also had their own monitoring device and monitoring system as well. So you wanted to make sure that a lot of these third-party uh, systems can be integrated. Uh, they were using, like, you know, putting a camera in the commercial properties, and then there was some live person monitoring, and now also they are moving towards the AI that without physically person looking at it, if you see certain movements during the weekend or the off hours, you wanted to make sure that you get notified and the right action can be taken on top of that. Uh, so subscription was one of the key aspects. Uh, mapping all the Google Map database was something which was important because they were trying to cover the entire Vancouver region. So when they cover Vancouver region, that means that each building will have number of tenants, and then each tenant will have a certain amount of lease. So either tenant get into the next tenant, so you need to make sure that you measure all of those things. For them, each site, each uh, uh, Google coordinates will have multiple sites, and they're managing each site for their subscription, monitoring, and inspection. Uh, system. So this was something that is brief on the radius security from a company point of view. Now what we are trying to cover in this presentation is like, you know, what type of radius security, uh, what type of challenges that they were facing, what type of system that they had, and what type of things that we try to implement with Udu, and after implementation, what type of kind of success that they got out of that. Like, you know, the initial challenges that Radius Security was facing was mainly into decentralized system. So they were using Sedona, and they were using uh, Firespack. 
Fire spec was mostly for the security monitoring, so they actually go to the physical location and monitor that uh, security inspection and then try to make a note out of that. And Sedona was some, something that they use it from their uh, entire subscription point of view, their uh, accounting point of view, and also about all their monitoring point of view in terms of monitoring the each and every activities of the subscription and going forward from the subscription as well. So the major challenges were decentralized system, uh, lack of visibility because of that, that centralized system not talking to each other, so they were using Zendesk for the ticketing system, they were using something else for the payroll, uh, they were using Sedona for the accounting and scheduling part of it, they were trying to use Microsoft uh, Google, uh, Microsoft Visio and project plan for the project management and the task management activity. So a lot of disjointed system that they were using. Because of that, like you know, one was that there is a lot of issues with the data because they were not able to collect the data correctly. Uh, reporting and dashboard was a challenge. Uh, they were expanding as we speak into the US market when we started working with them. So for them also the challenge was that how to make sure that like you know the multi countries, multi location, multi geography can be handled. And they were also expanding apart from the Vancouver going into the Toronto and other region. Systems were very rigid, like Sedona and also were not communicating, not easy to migrate, not easy to integrate. As I was talking about that they were talking about implementing some part of the AI in the monitoring system. So they wanted a system to communicate with each other, integrate with each other. So this was some of the challenges which was there. And that was one of the reasons that they were looking for an ERP solution. And while they were looking for it, they also wanted to make sure that they don't repeat the mistakes that they have done in the past. So they wanted something which can be flexible, scalable, easy to customize, and most important was easy to integrate. Yeah. Like, you know, typically, like, you know, how Udo help, helped us to, to go to the next level was something that we completely replaced their Sedona system with Udo. So entire their accounting, billing, ticketing, project management system, and the subscription platform came into the Uru. Along with that, we integrated with their inspection system. So there also we have modified their inspection system into the inspect point and making sure that the inspect point integrate with them uh, so that they get end-to-end -end system. So for example, that let's say that like you know the scheduling team will do a scheduling that which are the site that you need to do inspection today or this month or this week. That schedule typically done in the Udu. From Udu, you need to pass that into the inspect point so that it become a schedule. And then the person who is managing the inspect point will go to each and every location, will look at the uh, site, do the inspection, make the report out of that, and then again report needs to come back into the system. So this is where, like you know, providing the Udu from the flexibility point of view, easy to integrate from the API point of view, whether it's a subscription because when they are at the inspection site, they also need to know what is covered in warranty, what is not covered in the warranty, so that if they have to do a re repair, maintenance, whether we need to build to the customer or we have to consume internally, so all and above was there. Also, like some part of the security monitoring system, that they, they were also doing a manufacturing as well. So it's not a deep manufacturing, but more of assembling of certain parts of that. So for them, that was also something that was important that they wanted to try to cover Udu from part of the manufacturing as well. Also, end-to-end -end traceability was something that was very important for them to know that each side has given how much of revenue for them. Also, which side has moved from them to their competitor. Which side, like, you know, consolidation happened that the two, car, two offices got merged because of that now their billing has reduced or increased. So all and above, they wanted to know that from all data intelligence point of view. Uh, so they try to make sure that all this end-to-end -end traceability is something that we try to do it from a Udu point of view. Uh, also, automation of the process was something which was important, that a lot of manual intervention was there in the old system, that you make a schedule in a separate system, schedule does not communicate with the fire inspect system, so you need to make sure that all those things are done manually, pass on entries to manually to the other system, someone, people do it humanly, and there are chances that the mistakes happen on that. So that was something that we tried to use Udo and try to analyze that. So this project was all together was a six month of implementation. It was a 250 user license to start with from a Udo point of view. And now I think they are moving up to 400 users considering the global uh, rollout for them. Uh, we had our team actually visited their office and spend the time during the first two, uh, uh, four weeks for the blueprint sign off. And also they went during the go live and the training aspect of it. 
So the end result, the system that we try to do is the Exidona we have replaced with Udu and Firefax we replaced with uh, Inspect Point to give them end-to-end -end solution from that point of view. I mean, these are a little bit of the workflows in detail. Like, you know, there was a workflow for customer point of view. There is a workflow from the salesperson point of view. So we build a customer portal as well so that customer has visibility about their billing, their subscription, their plan for upgrading, downgrading, things like that. And as a salesperson, also there is a dashboard that for them to go into the each and every site, try to do upselling of their existing contract or like, you know, try to like, you know, find out a new customer and try to make sure that the entire uh, selling happen on that. So all those workflow that typically that they had, we try to map that into the system. Like, you know, key features that we try to implement here was like, you know, one of the most important was like customer portfolio management. So that's very important that whether customer has a one office or multiple location, multiple offices, you want to know end to end about your customers, their lifetime value, dashboard reports. So Udo CRM was something which was very prominent to give that thing. Site management was something which was very important to make sure that like, you know, each and every site is managed and you have a visibility with a Google map. So we did a Google map real-time integration to make sure that you have that visibility as well. Uh, inspection management, so that's where Inspect Pods were integrated from end-to-end -end system point of view. Uh, system management also, like you know, that entire system can be managed because they have a hardware, physical hardware sitting at a client location. Plus, there is a monitoring system, so you want to make sure that all of those things are inventory is matched, things are managed, and also at the same time, the warranty, replacement, all of those things has to be covered. The recurring revenue model was something very important for them because their business model is on that way that each and every customer will be their client for a one year, and then there will be a multi-year contract. So RMA contract was something that was very important for them to know. Credit notes, like, you know, things like that. Also, like, you know, the Attrition report was something, a key aspect for them to know that which are the sites which is moving out from the business or they are getting out away from the business or the lease is getting expired and they don't want to continue with you guys. So this was something for them to know that and the reason that how, why they are losing the customer, what is the reason so that ultimately the sales team and the customer success team make a right decision to take it to the next level. Also deficiency was important for them to know because they are doing some part of manufacturing and putting equipment at customer location. So they need to know that which are the equipment giving the most trouble, which are the sites giving the most trouble, like, you know, which is like, you know, the geographical, like, you know, the weather situation is giving trouble to your uh, devices and things like that, that, because most of those devices are in the out location, like, you know. So those are some of the things that was very important for them to know. And based on that, they're able to make an intelligent decision, either to change the manufacturer or the supplier, or to look at it from the, like, you know, whether installation people issues, or maybe look at it from the other aspect of it, that if there is something physical intervention which is happening at the location. So this was something that was very important for them to monitor, and that's where the Udu were trying to get them all those reports in a single platform, in a single system. Earlier, they used to have a three, four, five different systems. Using that system, they're trying to get report. Half of the time, manual intervention read it, and ultimately, you were never able to get what you wanted. Customer portfolio is something like, you know, we try to do that in a Udu screen, which was very important for them. So they want to know the customer contact, customer addresses, the building and the tenants, like, you know, that they are occupying the recurring contracts that you have with them, like, you know, inspection contract, and then like, you know, the sales and purchase opportunities and things like that, along with that accounting. So this is something that we try to get them in a single tab, and that itself has increased their efficiency by at least 20% for their sales team and the customer success team. Uh, for them, recurring uh, contract was something which was important for them, like, you know, that how much recurring contract you have and how many customers you're able to convert them into recurring. Like, you know, from uh, one year into multi-year, from six months into one year, quarterly to yearly, something like that. So that is something we try to give them entire dashboard reports and they're able to do that. At the same time, if salesperson get a positive response from that, they can make the recurring contract from the Udu itself and that contract goes to the customer with certain parameters and data if they required a workflow approval, we made that, okay, if there are certain discount customer is asking and you need a project, your manager approval, we have made that workflow as well. Inspection contract is something which was very important that inspect point is something that they use for inspection, but the contract is something which is created in the Udu and then ultimately it gives the schedule and the direction to the inspect point so that the people can go do the inspection. When they do the inspection, they monitor all those things, the reports come back 
and then ultimately as a customer level you can see that this is many times we have done the inspection and these are the kind of reports and dashboard that we created this many times required warranty maintenance support and things like that so that become a very good sales channel for the team to get into the next level of sales for them uh, also like you know the inspection as, as I was talking about like you know once you know that which are your inspection schedule creating the project task within the UDU and from that task you send that data into the inspect point so that the inspect point application do it out so that was also one of the best important criteria of integrating the platform and they wanted to make sure that the seamless integration happened rather than having a manual team and manual intervention between them also like you know syncing data back from inspect point was something which was very important that once you do the inspection you get the reports you get the notes you get the things for the deficiency the things for like you know the replacement things like that you want to make sure that all of those things are taken care of notes put the data back into the system so that the team can analyze and this data actually come back into the UDU. so the ultimately at a company level they can start analyzing that which sites are giving more trouble which sites are giving less trouble where to invest things like that deficiency was something which was very important for them to know and whatever the deficiency that you find within the inspection you want to make sure that within the UDU you can make a quotation out of that for those materials or line items and send that quotation so those were some of the things that we have done it very seamlessly earlier it was all manual that they were writing on the paper paper will come back to the office after two days five days ten days depend upon the location based on that they analyze the paper sometimes they can't identify the handwriting they actually make the quotation things like that so it was like a long delay now with this within a blink of eye they able to once the inspection is over they get the report from that they can create the deficiency code send out the code to the customer attrition was something very important for them to know that which are the sites which is stopping inspection with them either they're going into competitors they're getting out of the business or they are merging with some other business and they become bigger office things like that so that is something that we created in a single view because most of the time the people who visit to the customer at with the inspect point they will be able to know exact reason for the attrition so making sure that that data is synced with UDU and get that report was something which was very crucial for them so overall when you look at it from output point of view 3x in terms of the manual intervention has completely reduced for them ROI point of view still it's a work in progress so at this point of time they can like you know we can see that probably 2x of ROI is able to improve on that but I can see that as the system progress in next couple of years they will see a long huge uh, jump in terms of that uh, most important was productivity that has increased that utilizing the team in the right way that the people should not actually look at a physical paper and make a type typewriter notes instead of that they make the meaningful decision based on the data information and the reports and dashboard was something which was very important and that is something that we try to achieve that way these are some of our other customers just to give you a brief on that like you know globally yes we worked on a lot of enterprise customers we have done a lot of UDU implementation where there is like you know 400 physical stores we have implemented UDU for them there are like 120 service center we have implemented UDU for those type of companies we have implemented UDU in multi warehouse multi source inventory type of solution scenarios uh, many of our customers are using SAP in the back end for accounting and we have used UDU for all other aspect and connecting with SAP as well so like you know there are various enterprise level of UDU implementation worldwide we have done uh, whether we talk about retail whether we talk about distribution whether we talk about uh, automobile logistic uh, all and above from industry point of view and then we have done like you know this type of like you know fire and security alarm companies as well from the implementation point of view from the UDU point of view I think I'm just coming to the end of my time so if you guys have any questions online if there is any questions happy to answer happy to discuss we have a booth in hall 10 so at 8 10 so if you guys want to come there and ask any questions or email us for the questions happy to do that
Hi. Some questions uh, from the past. The first one is, what other security-related project implementation that uh, you have done? Have you done? Yeah, I mean, so as a company, we have been involved in uh, many of the implementation from the fire alarm and security point of view. So naturally, that is one of the vertical that we have specialized into that. One of the proud implementation that we have done five years back was uh, Bay Alarm Medical, which is 70 years old company based out of San Francisco, using Salesforce for five years, and we replaced Salesforce with Udu, so that was a very proud moment, and I think Udu covered that in a couple of their Udu XP in the early part of the 2020. So that is one, and there are a couple of others we have done. So yeah, close to five to six implementation we have done. Big ones are like, you know, Bay Alarm, and uh, Radius Security, and Venfire, and NASCOM. All right, thank you. Um, do we get a site level visibility? So site level visibility is from the physical view point of view is different, uh, but from the Google map and the site visibility point of view, that number of offices, number of apartment which is there and number of apartment that you are covering from the security monitoring point of view, that type of visibility we have given within the Udu system. But the physical monitoring and the physical actual site level scenarios that is something that they are doing in a video monitoring and surveillance system, which is again separate, but we are trying to integrate that at some point of time to get some data or some key aspect of the site as well, yeah. All right. Uh, what about uh, warranties on installation during inspection, uh, inspections? So typically they sell uh, equipment. When they sell the equipment, they also sell warranties. So if, for, I mean, that is standard any electronics warranty that we face at day-to-day uh, -day at our home, that certain things which are covered within the warranty, certain things which are not covered within the warranty. So typically when they put into the warranty, so when the inspection person go there, they will check out if there is a defect in the system, and then the system itself will tell whether this is covered within the warranty or not. If it is covered within the warranty, you will do a replacement for free. If it is not covered in the warranty, you will go into deficiency code. The quotation will go to the customer, get their approval, and then get that installed for the customer. All right, I think that's clear. There's no more questions on the pad. Maybe we'll wait uh, another minute uh, if someone has a question. No problem, but uh, thank you all. I mean, I know it's the last day, and it's too much to keep up for this type of session, but thank you for present here, and thank you for all the audience who are watching online. Uh, more detail about this implementation you can find online on our website. Uh, Udu also, we are talking to Udu to cover that on a live experience. So Udu will be covering that from a video testimonial perspective as well. But uh, yeah, so I mean, this is something that we are very proud of with associating with Udu, that this type of system that we able to do that with a multi country in and multi-source and multi-system integration, which can become very easy because of Udu. So, Thank you, Udu, for having us here. Thank you, audience, and thank you, everyone. Yeah. Have a My great uh, rest of the day, and uh, have a good weekend for all of you guys. Thank you.